Hi, everybody. All right, this is really cool. Remember, I've been trying to find something to put on the uh, baffle so I could get the fuel lines through? This is it. That is an easy seal. So easy seal, here's a sample fuel line. You can see pushes through the rubber. So you can push the bigger fittings through the rubber, and then you have a nice tight seal on the line itself. And that's the problem with these AN fuel lines, right? The, the fittings are 3 quarters of an inch, but the line is only 9 16 so you got to have like a wacky big hole, and then the rubber grommets just don't fit quite very well. This is a good example. So, I mean, I, I should say a good solution. It's a metal ring with a nice rubber grommet in the center. They, they sell different shapes and sizes of them, too. Uh, I bought the blank ones and then stamped out a slightly smaller hole than I needed so that there was just a little bit of extra grip around the line itself. I will, of course, augment that with some Permatex or Fire Barrier. And the nice part is that they're cheap. I think I got two of them for 10 bucks, So I'm very happy with that. And these things were designed for race cars, so it's, you know... Again, just thank God for experimental aviation. All right, so the rest of the video, we're still focusing on fuel lines, and I've got a rant. Oh, my God. Okay, look, I know that Vans designed the 14, and they designed it with the ability to have return fuel lines, which is great. The slot was there, and they even drilled a little pilot hole sort of in the side of the fuselage. So it's like, hey, if you're one of these people that's going to put a return line, this is where it goes. And they even have you put one, um, a bung, in the fuel tank itself for the return line. And that's all great, and really appreciate that. Us, you know, gearheads kind of love that stuff. But, here's the rant. What they did was... <laughs> So where the fuel fitting comes out for the return line and the return line into the tank basically face each other and only about three and a half inches apart. The main fuel line has a nice S-curve to it so it's easy to install. Right? The problem with these flared fuel fittings is that you can't just install them on flares that are facing each other because they're flared. So you, you physically can't get them on. The only way to put this fuel line on is you've got to disassemble part of the fuel line brackets that are holding it in place, which you can see me doing this here, and then move the fuel line off. So the fuel line that actually goes from the uh, side of the fuselage to the valve, you've got to disconnect some of the holders that, that thing is, uh, that's holding that down, sort of bend it out of the way, and then you can back out the fitting that's on the side of the fuselage. Only then can you put that line in place between it and the fuel tank. And that is a gigantic pain in the ass. So yeah, to, to whomever at Vans thought that was a good idea, well, well, you know the rest. I mean, would it have killed them if they'd have just moved that bung for the return line like an inch and a half forward of the current position? It'd be so it'd be it would have more than enough angle to be able to swivel a line in place. I mean, you'd still have to do a bending line, but oh my god, oh, oh, oh man, what a pain! Because I bought a three and a half inch hose. That's the one that you saw me in the video in the beginning uh, with the Easy Seal. So I bought that little line thinking, okay, this will be perfect. Um, I've got to get these two lines on, and with the flexible line, I'll be able to bend it enough to get it on. No, you can't. No, you cannot. So you have to make static lines, and unfortunately, because you have to have the fitting backed out, thus you see me here. All right, in the next video, you can see I've got the roll of VersaTube out. That's the 3003 aluminum. We're going to be using that to try to make these last uh, return lines. In the next video, you're going to watch me make about a dozen of the damn things. So, Thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.